Hello, this is Claudia Orengo from Harmed.es and in this video I want to teach you how to save multiple colors as a color palette on Illustrator. So what I was used to do is go to the swatch panels which you can find under window swatches in case you don't have it open and then clicking one by one, selecting the color, coming here to the plus symbol and adding it manually. But I discovered there is a much faster way. So if you select them all together, you can click this folder icon. You can name it whatever you want and you can click. Okay, you can select whatever um, you want from here, but simply click OK and you will see how quickly it creates this palette. I also have here another color palette that I can show you. Maybe you want to create one for the darks and one for the lights. You can select this, say dark, and select this and say light. And then imagine, let's delete everything else. So, oops. Just want to click outside, select everything. Yes, delete it. So now I only have these here. Well, I also have this because I already added them. But imagine you want to save these for use in another document. You can select them all and go to here, save swatches. Then it will pop up these. You can save here. Um, color palette example and then if we open a new document you can come back here go to user defined and you will find here the color palette example so you can quickly recover that palette that you just saved Finally, another way you can save multiple colors into a palette, it doesn't need to be separated like here. That's why I have this illustration. You can select the whole illustration and click again to the folder. Let's call it example and there we have it. So these are super, super quick ways to save your colors on the swatch panel and then you can continue your project, illustration, pattern, whatever you are designing, using always the same color instead of having to use the drop color, color tool and going one by one. So I hope you found this useful. It was a discovery for me. Maybe some of you already knew. Let me know in the comments if that's something new for you or if you already knew. And also feel free to ask me any questions you may have because I'm always happy to do more tutorials. So give it a like to the video if you like it, follow me on YouTube and hope to see you in next video.